Okay guys, here's another example where we can play with this logarithmic equation and compact it and simplify it. So that's what we're after. So first of all, let's identify what we have here. We have a base of x and we also have a variable of x here as the number up there and a base of x right over there. We're going to use two of the log laws. The first log law we'll be using will be this one right over here. Why? Because we have a subtraction sign right there which matches perfectly right over there. And we're also going to use this log law down below. This is where we move the power of the exponent out to the front in order to simplify this logarithmic expression. So let's jump in and do this. So the first thing I'm going to do is rewrite the front part with the log. So let's write log base x. Now this will be simplified as 3x to the power of 1 half, like that. And then we're going to subtract and just copy what we have here already. Just log same base, which is x to the 3. Now that we have it written out like that, we have that power up there. We can bring it to the front using the log law down there. So let's bring it to the front. So that'll be a half log x, and that's going to be 3x. And let's subtract. Again, I'm just copying it. Log base x, 3. Okay, we have that subtraction. We're going to use the log law across there. So let's do that. So this is going to end up becoming, we keep the half in the front. By six, it's three X divided by three. So let's write that in. Like that, it's nice and compact. Now, can we do any canceling? Yes, we can. We can cancel the three top and bottom leaving just the x over there. So the simplified answer would be a half log x. Three's cancelled, so we've got a big x over here, like that. So we've got a base x and a big x. So when we've got the base and the number being the same, as it is shown right over there, it transforms into a one, doesn't it? So essentially it's going to be a half multiplied by one. So the answer is the simplified expression to this will be